Hello everyone, I'm Reddit 2025 and I got a couple of requests for this, but a lot of people have been asking, how do I make my backgrounds? And, um, can I get a tutorial on it and stuff like that? So, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, there's a link in the description that will show you, um, a channel, a channel layout. So you might want to go to that. I'm going to go in and open it. Alright, so what you want to do first? is copy this copy the whole picture delete it make a new file I mean well new file add a new layer I need and then do control V okay, what's it? where is it? Okay there it is. <laughs> Alright so now you do that. So what, what else you can do is under you can make another file over the background by pressing control shift n and then <clears throat> here's a nice little tip I like to do for like that um, fading into black All right right here where it says colors click more and there should be this color all the way right here it's like the very bottom left corner color. What you want to do is change the transparency to zero. And then you'll have this. I see what you want to do is bring this down. Alright. You, you might notice like there's like a whole bunch of gray now. Well, I could take that out by bringing down this. So we bring that down, and it kind of turns out like this. Well, actually, let me kind of level that out. There we go. Alright. So yeah, it should kind of look like that. What else? Well, after this, what you can do is like make your own little color. Which is, um, I'll just use red for example. Alright, so there's a lot of things you can do. It doesn't really matter what choice you have. You can throw it in regularly like this. Or you can do, or you can do this. It really doesn't really matter what you do. I, I really like using the gradient tool instead of the paint bucket because it gives you that more fading color effect. You know? Anyway, onward. Um, what you want to do now is open up a new a new um, document and type in 1,000 as the width and a height of 200. Then you want to do is clear this off. <clears throat> um, put in your text tool and set it to 96. Right, again, I'm just this is just an example. You don't have to do this if you don't want. But oh yeah, gotta switch the colors. Sorry. It doesn't really matter what color you want, but kind of like whatever. But um, before I show this off. There are a lot of um, different kinds of text that you can use. I download mine at coolfonts.com. Go check out that so you can also get these cool fonts. Alright, so here's this nice here's a nice font called Discon. Whoops, I think no, I got a better one. This one's called Hawkeye. This is a really good one. Alright, so I'm just gonna type in my YouTube name. Uh, it might not look the same. But, okay, now it's too big. Alright, so what can I, so what I can do is go back and change the 72. I could type in my own just to make it like a little bigger. So you want, don't want it too small. I'm going to type in 90. And that should work. Right, close. Let's go with 85. Okay, there we go. So, a lot of people have really been asking how I do this. Alright, so just like the last time, 
do Control Shift N, but move move this layer that you just put. Move that one now. Okay. So what you do now is go to this gradient tool right here, and you can kind of do like a blending tool effect. So you can use any color you want. So again, I'm gonna use red, and I'm gonna put an orange. And what I do here is kind of fix. So if I just looks red, once you turn it, it'll start making this kind of color. And once that happens, you can start doing that. And you can kind of angle it whatever you want. And <clears throat> yeah. So that's just my way of making the text. I'm pretty sure everyone has like their own ways. Now, if you want to put this in your background, press Control Shift F, or there's um, or you go to Image and press Flatten. Then go to your Magic Wand, and it should do that. And once you do that, just kind of clear off some of the spaces that you don't need. But you want to make sure that all the letters are still there. That's what you want to make for sure. Now, I'm just going to leave that little one right there because that's going to mess up the whole thing. Alright, and one last thing. I'm going to rotate it clockwise, so... Oops, wrong one. Um, let's rotate counterclockwise, or Control g And we can do that. You know, it doesn't... You know, you can put your... You can put your, um background on either side, it really doesn't matter, but, <laughs> alright, so let's go to Control shift n alright, let's do that, if you want it a little bit bigger, you can drag it out, drag it in, and you can do like whatever, alright, there you go, that's how, I kind of start making my background now. Now, this is kind of just like an uh, easy guess. If you want like more advanced, just let me know. I hope you guys would kind of like this little short tutorial. And I hope you all enjoyed it. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time on whatever I'll do next.